Hi everybody, here's Christian and this is the Team Morecast. And hi everybody, this is Elwin, aka Yakuza, from the Maker's Eye. And we are back with our Cash Refresh tournament from the Euros. Yes, Cash Refresh side event during Euros um, on the Sunday with almost 60 players in total. Um, very fun, very, uh, very fun to organize. And we promised you a Dutch player in this game and here he is on the left side, it's Peck. Yes, this is Peck, actually a player from my meta, uh, mm. Wouter in real life. Actually very new to the game, um, hasn't been playing for maybe even less than a year, but definitely not much more than that. And he actually did very well in both the Euro's main event and the, the Cash Refresh side event. And there's also like some really exciting new agendas, um, not, um, agendas, ideas ha happening here because Peck is going to be playing the loss. His opponent is a player from Spain. It's Lewis. Lewis with Potential Unleashed. Potential he's Unleashed. To, he's Lewis Potential. Lewis will unleash his, his potential over, to, over Peck. Yeah, he will unleash uh, his potential to, to grind away some cards. Yeah, let's see about that. So, um, so Peck's ability is that he will get two credits. Um, the first time an uh, ice is rest each turn. And then um, a Lewis ability with a potential unleash is that the, whenever there is an, uh, at least one um, net damage, yep. the, a card is discarded from um, the runner's uh, deck. So this could be a very interesting matchup for both players because on the one hand, um, for Los, I don't expect that much ice to be rezzed on Luce's side. Mm. And on the other hand, um, Potential Unleashed might run very poor, so... Yeah, um, Potential Unleashed, like, that's weird. There's a lot of, like... Hmm. How many, like, I'm not really even sure how potential on these decks work, but I'm assuming in that they refresh, also... In cash refresh, you mean? Yeah, in cash refresh, because there's like a lot of like the, the decks, the, oh, what, I'm, what, what I want to say is that the card pool is very restricted. Yeah, the cash refresh card pool, very limited, very restricted, and most of the, the common tools we see in potential unleashed decks in the normal card pool aren't available here. There's mm. no hostile infrastructure, there's no... Uh, bioethics committee, etc., etc., etc. There's not even shocks, so this could be very interesting. What is Lewis up to? On the other hand, the big box expansion for Jinteki is not bad. Yeah, the big box expansion is actually very good, um, and Jinteki has one of the best uh, available uh, agenda suites um, in Cash Refresh during this meta. That's true. They ha definitely have, like we see on, actually on Lewis's hand, we see the Nisei Mark II. Yep. Uh, which will be a formidable protection against any kind of account siphon shenanigans that, that Peck might be having going on. And we see already that Peck has, uh, is using the Shaper Big Box expansion, so there's the same old thing, account siphon yeah, this probably going on. This is very interesting. Th this is one of the things I find very interesting um, in Cash Refresh. Um, because you have to choose your big box, you can mm -hmm. derive some information from seeing certain cards. Yeah, so you see there's a there, there's laundry, that means shape a big box. De definitely, and that probably means same old things. And maybe uh, there's one more really relevant card in there. Uh, Dutch and Land, um, daily casts, what I'm saying. Yeah, daily, mm. definitely. Yeah, so we see um, a Temujin contract on Archives, which has not been challenged so far by Lewis. Um, slowly getting the monies on Peck's side. He gets out the gauntlet, uh, which I think is a really good choice for criminals in Cash Refresh. Yeah, it's a much played, it's a much more played in Cash Refresh. Uh, and it's a very wise choice in Cash Refresh because um, due to the lack of Jackson, Jackson Howard, um, agendas have the tendency to pile up way more in HQ, making yeah. um, the gauntlet way more powerful. Yeah, and um, so he will see more cards on HQ potentially, but of course there's always the, po the possibility of a, a nasty snare or something. Although I usually like the cards that you should be afraid of are the installed cards with Jinteki. And we see one installed card right there, unprotected and begging Peck to run on it. Yeah, Peck is playing very conservatively. He's playing very calmly. Hmm. Not sure what to think of this. 
Yeah, I, I would. I understand him. Like, if I see the um, potatoes on in in a cash refresh, I don't know what to expect. Like, I, I have no idea what the archetypes are. And, uh, you know, uh, Lewis could be running anything. Fair enough. Okay. Ooh, uh, Lewis I don't is want being face daring. Check. Yeah. So install advance, and I think that was the um, Nisei, right? I'm not sure. I was paying hmm. attention to uh, Pax Sports State. And then, uh, but another install as well. So like being like super progressive. Yeah, he's um, Jinteki ooh, Mind Games. Ooh, look at this inside job into the server. That's a probably a really good extra response. If there is a and the run kind of ice in front of it, then um, Peck will just get access. Yep, and that was the Nisei as expected. Well, Peck getting an early score here. Grabbing the Nisei. And, and it's really painful, especially since uh, Lewis installed and advanced it already. So like a double loss for Lewis because he lost the click, he lost the credit. Yeah, this this lo uh, this causes Lewis to lose a lot of tempo. Hmm. There's a random run on this uh, other card here, and that is going to be like this card that the first time you break a subroutine, uh, you will also get net damage. Yeah, synth modification, if hmm. I'm not mistaken. A very bad, very bad card that belongs into the trash compactor immediately. <laughs> So harsh. Why so I, harsh? I want to. I I want to shoot most of the Genteki cards to the moon because they are horrible. You know which card I really hate? This one. This card. This card. Well timed, Ugh. sir. Ugh. <laughs> hate this. So this is the I, psychic field. This is psychic field, and I hate psychic field with a passion. Yeah. Psy game to and if the runner loses the psy game, he will have to trash all his cards. Yep. And also, because it's going to be net damage, there's also the ability of um, potatoes will also trigger. Yeah, but it only fires once. Yeah. Okay, side game. Let's, let's play. Let's play the game. Let's see let's what happens. Game. It's Ouch. two versus one, I think. Right. Yeah, mm. I saw. I saw a credit being dropped. So yeah, Puck uh, losing this side game here, having to discard all this stuff here. Another inside job. Oh, rough. And a Mobius. And the special order. Mm. Oh my God! He has no breakers on hand uh, on on board. Uh, only a data sucker. Some discussion whether to trash the psychic field or not, and he yeah, doesn't trash it. I wouldn't trash it. No, this is a wise choice. It still it leaves him the option to, for example, install a Temujin and point it at that server. That's true. On the other hand, <laughs> I, um, actually, no. Like no, in, <laughs> no. On, there's no. On the other hand, there is nothing that the corporation can do in this limited data pool. That would We're not be too silly. much. Ooh, I mean, but this is spicy. Ooh. Did you see what Lewis is playing there? Yeah, this is going to be an arc lockdown. Yeah, arc lockdown for inside job. That's such an amazing splash in in the in the potatoes. This is this is unexpected. Very unexpected. Usually you will see some kind of like, you know, just doing a lot of damage, but what the ah. what? Yep. What so the now what? That all of this makes sense, all of a sudden we see, ladies and gentlemen, a potatoes that is also kind of like a, um, a rig shooter kind of yep. um, kind of deck. So we see a hunter seeker being played. So the hunter seeker indeed. So the hunter seeker means that um, after the runner scores an agenda you can play it and then you can trash whatever card there is on board. Yeah and that means Peck loses his console, loses the gauntlet. Not really the primary target for, for hunter seeker. Usually you want to target any breakers but alas yeah. Peck on has no breakers. Yeah on the other hand uh, Peck stole an agenda so hunter seekers online it's, it's a yeah. fine choice. Yeah, yeah, because like you cannot keep the hunter seekers too long in your hand because eventually you know the runner will be maybe at match point and then you cannot use them anymore. Yeah, then they're worthless. And yeah. th this is once again one of those interesting points about the cache refresh format: no film critic. Yeah. So no nothing to critic. guard against hunter seeker shenanigans. Yeah, hopefully there's going to be some kind of like cars coming out soon, <laughs> because man, that's kind of like a very tough, tough position to be in. Of course, there is no mid-season replacement, so one of the reasons for film critic is gone. Yeah, mm. well, yeah, you could choose to run sacrificial construct. Also, you don't have harpsichords, so that's another reason for film critic to be gone. Uh, harpsichord. Don't speak to me of harpsichord. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a. It's, it's, it's good that it's not there anymore. So here <laughs> we have finally uh, a breaker that's going to be a seeker, right? Seeker. We see seeker. one of the birds, yes. Mm, and the actually, birds. 
During the Euros meta, uh, during Euros, I, we didn't see much lows being played, but uh, in the current meta, because we're, um, this is during Station 1 as the, la the latest pack, but currently Blood and Water is the latest pack, and lows is, is seen an uprise, which mm. is actually not that surprising, because he has a lot of tools available in both cycles. Okay, Aaron, I'm, I'm not gonna, I like, you know that there is a second loss in our playlist coming up, you know. This is true. This is true. <laughs> Maybe we just picked weird games, but uh, but I'm really excited to see actually loss. I think this is our first loss game on on Team Warcast. Loss is loss is a fun identity, especially mm. with uh, all the tools he gets during the Red Sand cycle. Um, we just saw Karos McIntyre. Mm -hmm. who pays him to de-res things, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, which makes it a yeah. fun idea to run. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of... Uh, Maxwell James as well. This, uh, this is a good card that stays in cash refresh forever. Yep. Strong card. Yeah, obviously, Losh will leave us um, in cash refresh in yeah, that's true. a year. Yeah, in a year. Soon. <laughs> and so that is going to be the Epic Nail here installed. So we have already two breakers. Of course, the important breaker, the Sentry Breaker, is not here. Nope. So a Komino would be really annoying um, to to encounter at this point. Uh, meanwhile, um, uh, Lewis just installed and advances something in there behind two eyes. Two eyes to guard against uh, inside job. Because if I'm not mistaken, there's three inside jobs in the core. No one knows what it's like to be the bad guy behind two eyes. <laughs> Another Timogen? Yeah. Put it on that server. Yeah. <laughs> I dare you to point it on that open remote, sir. I dare you. Um, of course. Mm -hmm. What? What is that? We're, well, I guess he puts on Arcas, right? That's yeah, the only yeah. One. yeah, yeah. That's the obvious choice. He, he cannot actually run on the... Interestingly, he cannot run on the Psychic Field because you would have to play the Psychic Field game. <laughs> yeah, he'd have to access. No, no good. If there if there had been a cheap piece of ice on it... Wait, does he need to access? No. If there'd be... No. If there he has to be access. He has to access on the, uh, unless... Because otherwise it's not successful, the run. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to blame this on the beer I'm currently drinking. <laughs> Some good beer you have there. Actually, he did put it... Wait a minute. Oh, no. I, that's the counter. is the click counter that uh, Lewis is using. He puts a click counter on the bananas. Yep. And that's that's his clicking. So a very no, unique play, Matt. No contest for, uh, for Peck on this remote server. And Lewis is able to score his first... Um, Nisei, very, very important score for Jinteki so many times because, you know, you run through this Chiashi, whatever, this crazy ice, and you're like, yes, finally I have the access, but suddenly, nope, you have to run again. Nope. And this, the first Nisa is really important because this turns off Siphon. Peck apparently forgot the Data Sucker tokens, which are now being replenished. No. This is very gentlemanly of Lewis. Very nice. Very, you can see that people are very relaxed at this tournament. There's no, like, competition going on. Yeah, everybody was very relaxed, which make made it a pleasure to run air, and mm. we see our first Sentry Breaker. Not the Sentry Breaker you want to mm. see, but it is that's, a Sentry Breaker nonetheless. That's, that's a nice femme you got there. It would be a shame if a Hunter Seeker happened to her. <laughs> would be a shame if somebody abducted her. Yeah, if there was a drone. <laughs> and there we go, that's the account siphon. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh no! And we see one of the most obnoxious no. pieces of ice ever. <laughs> That's such a bad, bad target for the fam. This is maybe the worst target to fam. So what's the name of the card I always forget? Kakugo. The Kakugo. Four, four cost, one strength, si barrier, single end to run the subroutine. But all the spice is in what happens once you pass that thing. It deals a single net damage when you pass it. Yeah, and so because the, the, um, that's not being prevented by uh, by um, Femme Fatale, you still get the net damage even if you uh, bypass this ice with Femme Fatale. Yep. It's actually, there's no re no way to get around this yet, right? No, 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 Unless no, maybe no, no, you no. de-res it. Yeah, the Shaker gets around it, actually. Yeah, okay, yeah, you could. He actually has the perfect tech against it. Uh, well, I mean, it's not the perfect tech because the Shaker would get trashed. Oh no, 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 return no, no, to hand. Return to hand. 
Oh, yeah, so it would be a very expensive. Yeah, it's <laughs> very expensive. <laughs> you, yeah, you, have to, you have to wonder, is the card, is a single card worth that much? Well, Pro it's two no, cards. two cards, good point. Mm. Uh, if he didn't have the Breaker Suite out, I think it might be... Might be worth it just to make sure that you get. Oh, look at this! Lou is doing like a rando EMP. Yeah, fires a neuro. J just making sure that um, that pack loses his his his, um, his cards. Yeah, and he he got some really good one. He got the York there. Of course, Lewis already has the Epic Nail installed, but um, but this is his. I guessing his backup uh, code gate breaker. And he plays a preemptive action for an arc lockdown, a hunter seeker, and a neural EMP. Yeah, that's a really choice. spicy preemptive yeah, action. Some, some good, some good stuff by Lewis. Lewis is being really, really aggressive. I like the deck. I like what Lewis has built here. This is very unconventional. Yeah, and look at what it's doing to to Peck. Peck is n not really even like he he's afraid. Yeah, you can see, see it as he's afraid. He's not lying, run, running all over the place. He's making those very controlled attacks on on the individual servers, but he's not not really willing to to go go all over the place. No, this is how I know Peck from in my cur in my own home uh, meta. He's a mm. very calculating, very strong and considered player. But mm. um, Lewis is putting him under a lot of pressure here. Yeah, like there's there's some chaos going around, and 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 Peck is trying to uh, to wrap his head around what's happening here. Same old thing, probably preparing the account siphon. Probably, and Peck hasn't found uh, a proper. Well, he has the fem, but he hasn't oh, found look a at proper this. sentry make, breaker. Ooh, is that a good idea though? Like uh, third click account siphon. Oof. Does Lewis have no? Lewis I mean, doesn't. why not? Why not? Like get rid of the, all the money that that. Um, that um, that Lewis has, Al although on the other hand, something that I don't like about this attack is usually it's a good idea to y do this when you see just after Jintiki installed some cards, yep. so you can safely check those cards. But now there is nothing new installed. We only see the the psychic field that we already saw before, so there is no. nothing that that Lewis really gains from this. No, he can't. Uh, uh, he, he can't from this. He can't ca really capitalize on how no. low Lewis is in credits. On on no. Lewis is being on zero credits. Yeah. He's now on free, which still puts him um, out of snare range, but still. Yeah, yeah. So he, so yeah, maybe running on R and D or something might be might be a good idea now. Yeah, and he can't res a Kamaiu, which the yeah, ad personally. If I were Pack, I'd be mostly afraid of hitting uh, a Kamaino. Is it so? I mean, at this point, he has the Fem installed, so he can actually deal with a with a with a Kamaino if there is one. Oh, oh. that's nice. A mi uh, mind game, such an obnoxious little piece of ice. So, but um, but Pack is of course spying this out with a Douches Wild. So he can see what what is awaiting oh. him. It doesn't cost anything to rest, right? Yep, doesn't cost any, co doesn't cost a single credit. But um, uh, but at this point, uh, Peck already has the data sucker counters, so he can he can break this cheaply. True, true, true. And and he can even f play the psi game and be like, okay, Peck, spend your credits. Is he going in? Uh, yep. Lewis, spend your credits. I'm <laughs> confusing the two names. I'm sorry. Yeah. They played so, the side game, yeah. Yeah, pack continues. Wow. No, wait, no, wait, are they? Oh? No. Oh, he continues. He breaks it. He breaks it. Oh, there's a Steals score. It. Yes. Ooh. Oh, yes. Yes, pack. That's right. The Get the single the Oh, that's so good. Because these these agendas, if you don't steal them as, as runner, they can often end the game. You Wait. think you were winning, you think you were at, at match point, but suddenly, nope, you're dead. Nope. Mm -hmm. Four agenda points on uh, Peck's side, two on Lewis's side. Um, but I seem to have missed something. There's a mimic in Peck's uh, heap. Hmm. What, wha yeah, when maybe did he lose the mimic? Maybe uh, with running one of the potatoes? Yeah, must, must have, have been. Must have been the potatoes, right? Yeah, must have been a potato trash, I guess. It's fine. He still has the fem, of course, um, unless, of course, Lewis draws into his hunter seeker. Oh. But there is so far we don't see any sentries on the central servers, so that's fine. And and Lewis is at very low at uh, credit wise. Yeah, 
when potatoes was new I, I made the mistake of one time hitting um, a Kamainu against potential unleashed mm. with not with not enough credits on the board. Yeah, and losing twelve uh, cards in total. So wow. Uh huh. Yeah, you should you 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 should not do that. That's no, that's a bad idea. No, it was new. But, but, it but gave me a trauma. <laughs> I can understand, but Peck is in a kind of a good situation. He can deal with this with a fan, and also he can kind of anticipate this because he can see that that uh, Lewis is just low on credits, and for credits you can address a Kamaino. Uh, and there's oh, actually yeah. not too many aggressive cards you can address at, at, at this point. Maybe, like, even the, um, uh, what was um, ah, I was <laughs> actually killed by this. For? No, the one. Um, oh, you, it's actually maybe not in the in the card pool. The one when you make as much damage as there is free MU. Oh, uh, cortex lock. No, that's yeah. not in the card pool. Not in the card pool. Yeah, so that's cortex so, lock is so nothing to be afraid of. Peck. No, nothing. Sansan or Mumbai, if I'm not mistaken. Ren or run on R and D. What what's the worst that can happen? Uh, I guess I guess a well, snare can happen. Yeah, snare can happen now. There. We are in snare range. And what is it? It's a snare. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. Yeah, so okay. Painful. Mm. Not good. So what are we seeing? Bank job, two other cards. <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you probably should trash it. Yeah, probably Peck is a bit shaken now. Yeah, Peck, Peck is having and some bad luck here. Yeah, and Although his deck has, is looking has, so low. That yeah, but he, he, has, he has the game well under control. Like, there, okay, for, but what now, right? Right? He, he got hit by the snare, whatever. Yeah, he has the money, he has the breakers. If he plays this slowly and considered enough, he can probably win this. I would probably just run against the um, my, um, mind game and force Lewis to spend the credits on a, on a side games, because at two credits that's really low. Yeah, not much you can just, happen. And you can if you, if he d Lewis doesn't spend the credits on a mind game, he um, you get free access on R and D. That's great. Okay. Oh wow, Peck did nothing. Just spent his entire turn recovering from the snare. Wow. Okay. And this allows uh, Lewis to sh to beef up the defenses on R&D a little bit. Yep. There's still a new card installed in that remote server we haven't checked out yet. Yeah, it, a, a really mysterious card in a 2 ice server. Hmm. What could it be? I mean, if, would you just install an agenda in there? That, that would be weird. Like, there's no, ad no three, two agendas anymore. Nope, not a single Flotic free is the only one, right? Yeah, the Flotic is gone and he doesn't have access to brain trust. Yeah. He this could be maybe this this um, medical breakthrough. Yeah, b which is a 4-2 at this point, but yeah. well, he could it it could be a medical breakthrough trick oh, maybe. Look, look I'm at not Peck sure. Just just really just just drawing cards, just preparing for another assault here. Uh, I don't feel like he's in a in a hmm, difficult question whether it's a good moment to to lean back at this point so i'm thinking it's probably not a medical breakthrough hmm. if i were to guess i'd guess he's running wow oh. is it the last click is this last it's, click it, it's, it's last click oh no oh no P P peck you, peck you know the podcast it's called it's called runner's click but it's you know ironic no. you know why, why Never are last, last click oh Damn no! It. <laughs> Psychic field. No. No. Okay. Peck has to win this now because otherwise Lewis will be able to maybe do the MP if he has one on hand. Oh. Uh, and Peck loses this one. Losing, Losing all of the cards. Last oh. click. He cannot draw any cards anymore. Uh, even one discarded from top of R&D. Now uh. the question is, does... Does Lewis, Lewis have the Duran P? Yep, he no! does. No! Peck! Ow. What happened, man? Never land on last click. Oh. Why did you do this? Oh my god. <laughs> no. I'm hurting. 
out of nowhere runs on this card. Crazy. Yeah. He probably forgot. They, they probably he forgot that he did, that it could have been a psychic field. That uh, maybe. Yeah, I'm 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 amazed. I'm a bit. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe she wanted to to make Lewis rest the ice in front of it. Like it's often a good strategy to be like very aggressive when the corporation is low on credits. Maybe. So you can like force them to spend credits when they're really uh, valuable. Um, not really sure what the idea is. I mean, th this card was laying around there for a turn, so we yeah. know that it's not some something that is you know immediately threatening. Yeah. On the other hand, it's a pro probably a bad idea to leave um, you know unchecked cards uh, on the board with Jinteki because you know this board set is eventually something that can break your neck. Exactly. Uh, you should leave an unchecked card alone. In that mm. current board state, leave it alone. Don't touch it. Just mm. go somewhere else instead. And maybe check it if Luz is, is on zero. If you can uh, siphon him down again. I would probably even continue running on R&D. Like, whatever. There was no threat from a um, snare at this point. Yeah. Um, so and just whatever, pressure centrals. Whatever. Yeah. It's kind of... Huh, interesting. Interesting game. Interesting decks that we saw here from both players. Like, mm. not something... like I couldn't have to told you what what was inside those decks when this game started. A very, very, very weird. Yeah, a very inspired choice by Lewis mm. and mm. a cool Lowe's build by uh, Peck. Yeah, have you seen this? Like, there's so many different breakers from different types. We have we saw um, Anarch breakers and, and criminal breakers. Some really really crazy mi uh, mixture of different types. Yeah, really diverse. And we see the next game being built up already. Yeah, and it's going to be another new runner ID. This is going to be uh, Null. Null. But that's coming up in the next episode. Yep. First, there's something we want to remind you of, which is something that, that is uh, Elwin's, uh, you know, brainchild. Haha, -ha, well, I can't, I can't say brainchild, but I would still like to invite all European Netrunners, all viewers of Teamwork Cast, to the Dutch Nationals on Saturday, the 12th of August. We'll be having Swiss rounds and top cut, so both on the Saturday and side events on the Friday and Sunday before and after. Um, everybody is warmly and kindly invited to the Netherlands, to Enschede, to be exact, close to Germany, um, to have some a full weekend of fun uh, games of Netrunner and obviously beer and cookies. The best combination ever. Uh, yeah, be sure to check us out if you can. Uh, you're worth it. Treat yourself, <laughs> man. <Yeah. laughs> Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank sweet. you, Christian. Thank you. Uh, thank you for joining me, um, Elwin, and we're going to move on to the next game. I hope you will join us next time around. And as always, hack, hack the, the planet! planet! Hack the planet! Shut up and yeah. get in the car! Shit on me. That was an exciting nail biter between uh, Lewis and uh, Pack. And if you're like me, you would probably want to see another game between the two. And you will, because they will be back on the next episode. But now it's time for our Patreon shoutouts. And today's Patreon shoutout is gonna be to none other than Mr. Nigel McNaughton, who's from Wellington, New Zealand. Wow! I would love to visit New Zealand one of these days and check out the Netrunner community there. Maybe it will happen one day. I am just, you know, fingers crossed. And if you want to support us just as Nigel does, uh, you are free to do so at patreon.com slash hack the planet. Otherwise, see you next time around. 